Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find area using double integration. Okay. So using double integration, there is very simple formula to find the area. So let us write the formula first. Area is equal to double integration dx dy over region S. Okay. So S means a given region whose area we have to find. So they have clearly mentioned the region S, which is bounded by y is equal to x square and y is equal to 4x minus x square. So let me clearly mention here S is bounded by what have they given y is equal to x square. So as you can see here, the power of y is 1 and power of x is 2. When we have any equation with two variables, power of one variable is 2, highest power of one variable is 2 and highest power of second variable is 1, it is a parabola. So power of y is 1, power of x is 2, it represents a parabola, it's a standard parabola. Power of y is 1, that means the parabola is symmetric about y axis. So let me clearly mention, it's a parabola, symmetric about y axis. Actually, I should mention positive y axis since y has plus sign. So I'm drawing a rough sketch here. It's a parabola symmetric about positive y axis. Okay, so the parabola will be like this. Okay, so rough sketch I have drawn. Uh, let us consider the second equation. What we have y is equal to 4x minus x square. So the second equation, right? So here the highest power of y is 1, highest power of x is 2. It means again it is a parabola. But see this parabola, it's not a standard parabola. Since we have some 4x minus x square complicated term, and it is not in its standard form. So let us try to express it in its standard form. First of all, that x square, square is there, no, so it should not be negative. Let us take these two terms on this side. Let, let us shift y on that side. So we'll have x square minus 4x is equal to minus y. See now, what will I do? I will try to adjust bracket square, okay? x square minus 4x we have. I'm trying to adjust bracket square. There is very simple technique to adjust bracket square. What is multiple of x? 4. What we do? We take its half and we take its square. What did I say? Whatever the multiple of x, we take its half and then we take its square. Multiple of x is 4, its half is 2 and its square is 4 again. Let us add 4 on both sides. So yes, 4 minus y. Let us complete this part here. So this is x minus 2 square. This is a bracket square. Get it? You can, if you expand this bracket, you will get this thing again. So minus sign I should take common minus y minus 4. So I have uh, written this equation in its standard form. So that x variable has square and that y variable has power 1. So it's a parabola uh, around y axis power of y is 1, but it has a minus sign. That means it opens in the direction of negative y axis. Let me mention a parabola which opens in direction of negative y axis. So you know why negative y axis here, that means the parabola opens in downward direction. So we get a parabola like this, which opens in downward direction and vertex at, vertex at, see which points we have got. Here we have got 2, x minus 2. So it's x coordinate is 2 and here we have got y minus 4. So the y coordinate is 4, okay. So this is a vertex at 2 comma 4. That means the parabola will be like this and it turns at point this 2 comma 4 that means vertex at 2 comma 4 it will be here 2 comma 4 it will be here you can easily see you can easily see what is the equation of this parabola equation of this parabola is y is equal to x square this is our first parabola right if i put x is equal to 2 here what i'm saying x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 that means 
this point satisfy this equation this is actually a vertex of this parabola but it satisfy equation of this parabola it means it is a point of intersection both parabolas are uh, see passing from this point so this is a vertex of this parabola uh, if the parabola will be like this getting parabola will be like this yes uh, let us confirm uh, it passes through this point or that point. Let us confirm. What will I do? Uh, I am doing some rough work here. I am putting y is equal to 0. So if I put y is equal to 0, so 4x minus x square. So 0, I am taking x common, 4 minus x. That means either x is equal to 0 or x minus 4 or x is equal to 4. So if I put y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 means x-axis. If I put y is equal to 0, we get x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4. That means that parabola cuts x-axis at point 0, this 0, 0 and 4. That means that point should be here. Okay. So that parabola passes through this point. So this is a rough sketch. Huh? This is 4, comma 0. So we have a parabola like this. So both parabolas we have got. So the region is bounded by both parabolas. That means obviously this is a region of this is a given region and we have to find its area. Okay, so this is a given region. So now we have to solve this integration. We have to find limits. So we have two options. Either we can consider a strip parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis. Generally, we consider a strip parallel to y axis. So let us consider a strip parallel to y axis. Let me remove this part. It is not required. Okay. Now that was my rough work. So I'm going to consider a strip parallel to y axis. Let us take, consider, consider a strip parallel to y axis. So I'm drawing a strip here, which is parallel to y axis. Okay. So to find the limits, we have a very simple funda bounded below bounded above and left to right that means we have to move the strip and we have to cover the entire region okay and then we can solve the double integration so just uh, make a screenshot of it uh, then we will go further so here we have considered a strip parallel to y axis that's why we should write first y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to then x varies from x is equal to x is equal to let us recall the funda bounded below, bounded above, left to right. The strip is bounded below by this y is equal to x square. The strip is bounded above by this parabola y is equal to 4x minus x square. Okay, let me write that thing here. So now we have to move strip from left to right. Okay, left to right. So strip will move like this. It will start at this point where the value of x is 0 and slowly slowly it will move and it can go up to this point where the value of x is 2 getting since strip has to move and it, it has to cover the entire region so we got the limit so let us write area is equal to our strip is parallel to y axis so that's why i'm writing dy first dx later right limits of y x square to 4x minus x square and limits of x 0 to 2 0 to 2 integration of dy is y x square 4x minus x square dx i am putting upper limit lower limit 0 to 2 i am putting upper limit so 4x minus x square lower limit is x square minus x square dx so this is equal to 0 to 2 so let us simplify it first 4x minus minus x square minus x square minus 2x square dx let us integrate 4 is constant integration of x is x square by 2 2 is constant integration of x square is x cube by 3 0 to 2 let us put upper limit first i am putting 2 2 here 2 square is 4 4 into 4 16 by 2 8 minus i am putting 2 here 2 cube is 8 into 2 uh, 16 by 3 if I put 0, we will get 0, obviously. Let us cross multiply. So 24 minus 16 by 3. So it is 8 by 3 square units. So this is required area. Okay. 
So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.